Colonels are 11 and 8 on the season. They're 5 and 1 in Southland Conference play. AM Corpus Christi 4 and 11 on the year, 1 and 4 in the Southland. Cowboys and girls. I remember, I remember when I used to play shoot 'em up, shoot 'em up, bang, bang, baby. This is a picture perfect start for the Colonels. A 10 point lead, seven minutes in, and your best players have yet to get going. Sadler, the left lane, kicks out. Rutledge all alone. Automatic. 19 to 6 nickels. Five early threes. Rutledge is the top three point shooter in the Southland Conference, and he was all alone. Two three zone for Corpus Christi. They played it a little bit in the second half against UNO. Peters, left lane drive, a handoff to the right block for an and one layup. Tavon Sadler, a tough take. And a nice finish, 21 to nine nickels. Javon Powell's open quick, left wing three is home. It's all about JP. Javon Powell, Tallahassee, Florida, 11 points, two steals, three threes. Colonels lead it 26 to 13. It's Islanders trail by nine, 27 to 18 nickels. Sadler, trail left wing three, spots and hits. 90 seconds to play in the first half, Sadler. Left angle pass to the left corner, three by Rutledge, and he drills it. Hand in his face, doesn't matter. 14 first-half turnovers for Texas A&M Corpus Christi. That's what the Colonels do best. They force 18 a game, that seventh in Division I. Now Nichols will look for one more field goal. Seven seconds to play in the first half. Powell changes directions, middle passes to the left block for a layup that falls as time expires. Tavon Sadler, a take and make to finish up a 15-point first-half lead. Tavon with a dozen. Javon Powell with 14. And a large lead that expanded in the final seconds of half number one. Kevin Johnson over to Javon Powell. Left wing to the left corner for a long three. It rattles home by Tavon Sadler, his second of the night. Colonels are up 18, and now Kevin Johnson steals it on the inbound. A give to Sadler. He's fouled at the free throw line by Miles Smith. And what a start to the first 38 seconds in the second half for Nichols. Trap in midcourt. South in trouble. He throws it away. A gimme steal for Kevin Johnson. He finds Peters in the right lane. Back to a trailing Sadler who scores, and he's fouled. Davon Sadler with the end one finish. Credit Roddy Peters for dishing on the dime. Now to midcourt, Roddy Peters. Crossover, gets by Hale to the rim. Layup. Left-handed finish, Colin Hale didn't stand a chance. 55 to 29, Nichols. Ray is doubled, Sean Ray throws it away. Steal the free throw line for Peters, he'll do the rest. One on two into Francois, great trail, and a throwdown for Raji Lyons. He delivers the dunk. Nichols has a 59 to 34 lead. Peters chest pass left corner. Johnson cuts to the hoop and somehow makes the layup. Book Sadler, handoff left lane to Powell, who gives it back to Sadler. 17-footer rattles home from the left lane. Another mid-range jumper. It's the Tavon Sadler specialty. He's 7 for 9 from the floor, and the Colonels have a 66-39 lead. Roddy Peters bulldozes his way to the block. Misses one shot, but he won't miss the second. With four Islanders surrounding him in the paint, it's the Colonel point guard who comes up with a putback. Back to Johnson at the high point. Quick crossover into the paint. Floats it from seven feet and swishes it. Kevin Johnson double figures in three of his last four home games. 83 to 50 nickels. Again with 2.22 to play. It's good news for Coach Riley. Takes some more time off the clock. Free up Kevin Johnson for a left lane layup. Took the screen from Roberton and blasted off into the paint. 87 to 52 nickels. 14 points for Kevin Johnson. A 6-1 start in the Southland Conference awaiting the Colonels. And what a night for Tavon Sadler. Crowd starts to clap. And finally, we hear the horn sound. A 91-61 win for Nichols. 23 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists for Tavon Sadler. And the Colonels pick up a 30-point blowout victory against Texas A&M Corpus Christi. 5-0 start at home this season for Nichols. They're 6-1 in the Southland. An eight-day layoff before Lamar hosts the Colonels on January 24th.